Let's use the NIVision user-defined text font and set its attributes such as font size and alignment. As pictured right here, this is the default text that's used by iMac overlay text. I'm displaying the timestamp at the moment. Check the quick help on overlay text and we see that we have the ability to control the font, size, and style. Let me go ahead and create a constant for this cluster. The constant is rather large as you can see also it kind of bumped the frame and started auto expanding it. Let me undo that step. I'll create the cluster somewhere else so it doesn't disturb the arrangement of my case structure. And I've got enough room for it right here. Let's go ahead and place that. Now by default we have what's called the application font. I'm going to switch this to user specified font. And you have a number of options that you can control once you're using user specified font. You have the font that you wish, its size, boldface, underline, all sorts of different options showing up there. The other options that you have to position include the horizontal alignment. You can choose from one of three options right there. And then you also have the vertical alignment. Again, you have three different options for vertical alignment. I'm going to use the font. This is a true type font that ships with the NI MyRio. The available fonts are located in the MyRio file system at files slash vision. And you could also place additional true type fonts there if you like. I'll connect in this cluster now and I've also as you can see changed the font size to 36 point. Let's go ahead and compile that and see how we're doing. And clearly we can see that the font is considerably larger than it used to be although the alignment is not quite right. Of course we could change the XY location or we can change the vertical alignment. I'll change this to top. So now the top edge of the text is being specified at the Y location of 20. All right, that looks pretty good. Again, this is the NI Vision font, and if you want to, you could put additional true type fonts and specify those as well.